Anybody queuing up there? Hey, hey. Yes. Hi. Mrs. Well, Barrow. The only three people, because the rest of you, if you queue up, you are not going to, uh, to ask. Maybe you could come on this side. Hi, hi, Mr. Varoufakis. Hi. Yes. Uh, I'm coming from Greece. So, I'm... Uh, we say in Greece, we have the capital controls. Did you hear me? Okay. You're you are responsible... You're asking everyone. You are responsible for the capital controls. Nobody in Greece take you serious because you are responsible for the capital controls. And the earthquake in San Francisco at the beginning yes, of the Yes, yes, and yeah. the earthquake. Yes, yes, yes. Don't laughing. Don't laughing. We don't laughing. I don't laughing here, Marufakis, because I can get my salary from Greece because of capital controls. You have one minute. You're exhausting it. No, I'm not exhausted. I just tell you, I can get my salary from Greece because of the salary control, uh, because of the capital controls. Okay, I, okay. I took the point. So, can we my, po to the my point, question? my point is, I will answer it. My but, point, my point. But we're not going to enter into a debate between our, between my, us. You're going to respect the rules of okay, this particular meeting. Okay, can I say my meeting. point? My point, my point is. But please wrap it up. I got your point. Greeks, you are not getting your salary because of capital controls. Yes. A lot of Greeks, a lot of Greeks believe that you are a failed finance minister. Okay. Okay? Can sure. you answer to this? Thank you. Next one. Um, so, sorry, after all these talks, I still, I'm still not sure what DM is. Um, is it a party? Is it extra parliamentary opposition? Is it, uh, is it grassroots movements? I mean, I, I've heard all uh, sort of good ideas, but I heard very little about how do we get from A to B. Thank you. Very good. Comrades, friends, who would like to take some of those questions? I, I owe a gentleman who had a personal um, issue. Uh, regarding his salary, a uh, quick explanation so we can get this out of the way. Uh, let me be very frank with you, sir. There's no doubt that I failed. I'm no longer a Minister of Finance. And our government, which I represented as a Minister of Government, as uh, the Minister of Finance, uh, capi capitulated and surrendered to a program that was designed to fail and in which no one believes. Not Dr. Schäuble, not the IMF, not Mr. Draghi, not Mr. Tsipras, no one. So obviously, there was a spectacular failure there. However, let me come to the precise point or concern of yours in your personal life, capital controls and the fact that you cannot get your money from Greece. Capital controls were first used in uh, Cyprus a couple of days after a new government was elected. You are all familiar with that. It was clear to me from that day in 2013 that capital controls would be the new means by which the Troika would impose its iron will on the recalcitrant governments. I moved into the Ministry of Finance on the 27th of January, two days after our electoral victory on the 25th of January. Three days later, on the 30th of January, a certain Mr. Jeroen Dijsselbloem, the president of the Eurogroup, paid me a courtesy visit. Within 10 minutes, he put it very clearly to me. Either you accept the existing economic policies, the program as it stands, or we will shut down your banks. In 1967, they overthrew Greek democracy with the tanks. In July of last year, they did it by means of the banks. I'm very proud that I said to him that we're not going to succumb. Your salary is not being paid because hapless, faceless bureaucrats aided and abetted, as Gizini would say, by right-wing politicians who cannot see beyond their own noses regarding the interests of their own nations, closed down our banks and imposed upon us capital controls. You can turn against me. That is fine. But I suggest that you look at the real cause 
of the fact that you can't get your salary, which is that the Troika shut down the bank.